and welcome to CVTV. So as you can see by my very large headset, I'm going to be talking about games today. Um, these are games that I've been playing since the lockdown of 2020. So I've grown up playing games all my life, mainly Crash Bandicoot and Mario and all that kind of thing. But I've recently gotten into PC gaming um, and a few of the games that I'm going to be talking about, I actually began playing on Xbox and then I was like, oh, PC gaming, that sounds quite fun. And I stole Matt's old PC that he's had for years and then he got a gaming laptop so that we could game together couple goals <laughs> and um yeah so i'm going to be talking about my favorite games today and i'm going to be reviewing them so if you like that kind of thing stay tuned and i really hope that you enjoy this video okay guys so this game is called stardew valley and it is so fun if you just want a chilled game to play um it's really 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 brilliant <laughs> So I actually first played this on the Xbox um, and now it's co-op, so it wasn't co-op when I first played it. Um, when I first played it with Matt on the Xbox we had to swap the controller and take turns, um, whereas now you can actually host a farm and your friends can play with you. So that's actually made this game a lot better for me. Um, I've been playing with my friends Dom and I've been playing with Matt as well. So this is the kind of thing. So this is like the biggest level of house that you can get. Um, there's my baby Levi, named after Levi from Attack on Titan. <laughs> Such a keno. So on this game, you're a farmer. And you basically... Oh, that was a really bad water in. Look at that. What am I playing at? Um, and then you have chests that you can put things in. This is one of the villagers. So I married Sebastian, um, the emo kid. Because, you know, he's just really, really cool. So I married him. Um, you can get married later on in the game once you have four hearts with someone. So if you press E, you can see your relationship with all the townspeople. And that's basically what you do. You build relationships, you farm. Um, the map is actually really big for this game and it's, um, it's expanded as well. So now there's an island. Um, you've got your inventory. Your inventory is really small to begin with. So you only have like one line, um, which is really stressful, but then you can expand it by going to the shop. But it costs a lot of money to expand your bag though. That's the only thing that I would say. You've got little fridges that you can put things in. This is the fridge where all of the food is. Like real life, I love baking and cooking on this game. And then when we go outside, you get mail. Someone sent me a fish. That's very kind of them. And then this is Clip Clop. He's a horse with a cool little hat. And yeah, you, this is something that you get later in the game as well. So when you go on, you'll basically get your farm. This is our chicken coop. This is Dom's horse. Oh, actually, that's Clip Clop. This is Clop Clip. My horse is Clop Clip. And this is Dom getting ready for summer. So it's currently winter. So you have seasons in the game. Um, and yeah, this is all of our, our farm, which is really exciting. And then this is Matt's house. That's his wife, Emily, who he married. And then I just got him a stable as well. He hasn't given his horse a hat yet, which is very disappointing. Um, you also unlock a greenhouse. So this is where all of our fruit is growing, as you can see. And you can go pick it up. So yeah, it's it's a very simple game. But honestly, it's so fun to play with your friends. Because you just you tag team farming. And you know you, there's events on the game as well. So you have like an Easter hunt. Um, there's fishing tournaments. Like, it sounds really simple, but and it is simple, but it honestly is just such a fun game. In the new version, there's a casino that you can go to, which is so fun. Um, I was playing 21 and I really, I, I was so bad at it. Um, so yeah, this is like going around here. It's really cool. There's a squirrel. Squirrel. And then you got Gus's saloon. You got Harvey, he owns the doctors. And then you got Caroline and Pierre. Pierre's store and you can go and and accept quests. Evelyn's a little old lady. I love her. She's my favorite. Her favorite thing is chocolate cake. So the villagers have their favorite things. Um, oh, it's Leah's birthday today. I need to definitely log off because um, that's Dom's wife and he can't miss giving her a salad. That's her favorite thing. And then you have the town hall that you have to build up as well. Um, so this looks like absolute crap when you first moved to town. And then this is it now when you unlock everything. And there's Gus. So yeah, it's honestly guys, it's a really fun game. Um, my review of it would definitely be probably a 4.5 out of 5. And the reason why I would uh, give it a 4.5 and not a 5 is probably because 
the dialogue is very much the same with the characters and it'd be cool if it was a little bit different sometimes. And also the more that you play if there were more different events rather than the same ones every year. Um, that would probably be my review. So this is Stardew Valley. I'm pretty sure you can get it for like £10. So if you haven't played it already, definitely play it. Like it's an amazing game. Okay, so another game that I want to talk about that I also can't stream at the same time is a game called Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. So this was one of the first games that I actually played properly and played through, um, which sounds really funny. Um, so Matt and I played it on Xbox. At first I watched him play it and I was a bit like, what's The Witcher? Like, what is this? Um, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I played through it and Matt watched me the second time. We got the really bad ending at first and then we got the good ending. So if you play through, you'll see what I mean. There's decisions and it affects everything. And it's a very, very cool game and one that I would 100% give five out of five to. It won game of the year as well. Um, it's just such a brilliant, well thought out game. The map is huge and there's just so much to do, so many quests. Um, and also if you've seen the TV series, I would highly recommend playing the game because, you know, well, the TV series is based off of the books, but the game is honestly incredible, just as incredible as the TV show. So definitely play The Witcher 3. I'm not sure how much it is anymore. Um, I think we bought it full price when it first came out. Um, so have a look. Um, I did not play it on PC though, I played it on Xbox, so do with that what you will, get it on whichever console you prefer. This is the raft. So I started, so Matt and I did one um, and it was really, really fun. And then we've recently started playing a world with Dom as well. So this is the game. So you're basically on a raft, as it says, and you have to fish materials from the sea using a hook and you go to different islands and things. It's um, it's a really, really enjoyable game. Again, it's a chilled one, apart from the shark like that attacks you. Um, that's not so great. Um, he's a bit of a bastard, to be honest. So we're currently docked. Um, but this is quite good because it gives me a chance to show you the island. So this is our little raft so far. We've got watermelons. We've got... Um, oh, there's a massive hole there. I think I was building something before I logged off, actually. I think I was building a collection net, but I needed more wood. We always need more wood on this game. Um, so as you can see, you've got plastic and stuff in the sea. There's not that much at the moment. Um, the shark probably will attack at some point. So if I just go show you the island. So this is an island where you can go collect flowers, you can collect fruit. Oh, there's a plank of wood. Oh, I'm going to go get that. And no doubt you guys will see the shark any minute because I'm in the sea. Um, he will bite me any minute, probably. But I need the planks of wood, so we're going to go. We're going to go for it. Um, so yeah, this game is incredibly fun, um, especially to play with your friends, as I said. Um, right, we'll log back now. Ah, don't want to get bit by him. He's such a bastard. Where is he? Oh, did we kill him? We might have killed him before we logged off. Um... So yeah, you can kill the shark, um, and it's best to do so. You can use um, shark bait to lure him to the raft and then kill him. Um, so yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's such a... Urgh, that shark. He probably did want to bite my booty. Oh, I'm underwater now. Oh, he's probably going to get me. Ah! If I could jump, that would be fantastic. There we go. <laughs> Matt was making vine goo when we last played. Okay, so now I can make a collection thing. These are just really handy when you're playing because they collect all the stuff. So yeah, you're basically a survivor and you find out what happened to everyone as the game progresses. So like I said, it's it's honestly such a great game, especially to play with your friends. So definitely get Raft. I think it's a tenner. Sometimes it's on offer, um, but we've built like a little upstairs and we've built like a little bit in here. As you can see, look, there's like a little chest. There's like a little water part. Um, drinking and eating is really important on this game. Um, you can cook fish on the barbecue which is uh, really, really fun. So I think I can play some planks here. Do I have any planks? No, I don't. I don't have any wood at the moment. We definitely need to leave this island. And then we're currently building more floors. This is our research table. Dom lost a candle to the shark, so he just put one there in memoriam. So that's really cute. Um, and yeah, so this is The Raft and it's a super cool game. So I'd recommend getting, getting this game 100%. And I would give it probably a four out of five. Okay guys, so this next game is called Seven Days to Die. I know it sounds um, very pleasant, doesn't it? This is Seven Days. 
Where did I log out? Oh, do, 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 do. So, this is the basement of my house. So, I basically took over a house. Um, had to hide from the zombies somewhere. Here's all my cement. Cement is your friend on this game. Honestly, it is. Um, I need to eat something. Eat my stew. Look how many apple pies I've got. I'm so greedy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and then always shut the doors behind you. You just never know on this game. Like, I'm serious. You you honestly never, ever know. Ah, so there's a zombie right outside. Chilling there. So we can shoot through these bars. You get a sneak bonus. Oh, she's dead straight away. I forget how good my gun is on this game now. So this is a sniper. Um, always carry lots of ammunition on you. Um, burnt meat in the original game isn't that great. So you need things like, you know, apple pies that you can make and things like that spikes are your friend so this house is entirely concrete um and i've built so this is matt's room i always make matt a room and dom a room um and then i go out here oh wow there's actually quite a few zombies around i'm shook i'm all by myself as well so there's not really a lot that i can do if they attack me um so that's why i like to stay far far away oh i blew her arm off oh that's rude so you just give them a little shoot. These guys are the worst. The one, the biker guys, honestly. A, they always get up. And B, they're just quite terrifying. So this is Dom's house, um, as you can see. So he has a little skylight area that he can shoot from. And look at all the spikes. Like, he's insane. He always puts so many spikes down. And that's his little garage where zombies spawn. Um, that is a tower that my friends Charlie and Alex built. Um, Alex was trying to get an achievement for the most deaths on the game, so 500, and he achieved it, so well done, Alex. And that, that is our old base. This is Matt's pink tower. Um, Charlie and Matt built a penis tower over there, as you can see as well. Um, so yeah, this game is uh, it's really, really bizarre. Um, I will go and build some things, don't worry. So my parkour on this game is also high, so you have skills that you can invest in. Um, like this and it helps with your hunger i'm a farmer class so that i could cook meals for everyone because that's just something that i enjoy doing um this is my character i honestly look crazy um and my level i believe is what's my level i'm a level 89 gosh nearly at level 90 i also think it's night time on the game so on the normal game you can see what time it is um but on the darkness falls mod that we've done you have to get a watch to know the time um which unfortunately I'm pretty I'm listening and the piano it does like a do 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 when it's daytime so I'm not going to jump down at night because if they run after me they will get me oh I thought I just heard a banging was that me oh it was me oh uh, you always honestly it's so sketchy um so the zombies spawn in these houses um they also spawn on the roads um and you have materials and things. So right here I've got like my axe that I can collect things with. The music in this game is always really unsettling. Um, so there might not be even be any zombies around. But you'll just you'll just feel like they're there. Um, they do jump out. They do fall from ceilings. Um, so it's pretty terrifying. But you see the big rocks. You can go over and you can hit the rocks and collect iron and stone and things like that. Um, and yeah, you can basically just, just build this house over here. This was the house that we did the blood moon in. Um, so basically, that's a good tactic to do. So you basically find an old abandoned house, do it up. So you get lots of experience from doing up things on this game as well. Um, you know, cementing things, concreting things. And then you basically fight the blood moon on here. Um, and what I might do as well is see if my friends want to play later. And I can record some footage of me actually going around and properly shooting and stuff. But I would definitely give this game a 5 out of 5. Um, for me personally, I've just found it so fun. Um, played played on it a lot. I think there's like, I think I've got like 200 hours on this game, maybe 150. Um, so yeah, I've played a lot of this game. Um, the shooting is really, really fun. Uh, killing the zombies is great, really satisfying. Um, the crafting is fun. Like I said, the building mechanics are a bit temperamental in places. Um, but all in all, a really, really, really fun game. Um, it can get a bit glitchy. Um, the other than that, it's honestly great. And I'd rate it higher than the other games purely for the fact to play with friends. This has been the most fun. Um, this has definitely been the game that I have been pumped to play every day. Um, saying that, Stardew Valley, I was honestly pumped to play. Oh, nail guns are your friend on this game as well. Um, so I always try and upgrade everything. It's just so good to do. It protects your base. Um, as you can see, I haven't actually upgraded a lot of it. Gosh, what have I been playing at? Been busy. 
Um, so it looks like there's no zombies around really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys to the other base. Whee! So yeah, you basically run around. Sometimes the zombies spawn really rapidly and you get like 20 of them running at you. So that's why I'm a bit wary. So please don't think that I'm a wimp. Like it's just that usually I play with more people and if lots of zombies spawn, then I'm kind of screwed. So this is the first base that we designed. Um, so if you go in here. Originally, we're going to put cars down the bottom so you can drive in this game, which is really, really fun. The mechanics are a bit weird on that too. So you got like mixing tables, concrete. Oh my gosh, there's just so many things. And then this is Matt's stuff. So Matt's random. Uh, Matt, <laughs> right? He named it after all the Star Wars. Um, so it's pretty funny the way that he names his chest. Um, the shit awakens makes me laugh every time. Um, this is my old room. So this is where I was. I was in like a little Harry Potter cupboard in here. There's a gross bathtub that Charlie decided to put there to scare me, which honestly it did. I came in and I was like, what is that? And I kind of freaked out, but um, this is the outside bit where we can shoot. So on blood means this is great. So as I'm a sniper, I like to be high up and I like to be far away. Some people uh, play on this game. So Matt likes using the brass knuckles to kind of fight the zombies, but I don't like doing that because when they run at me, they just they just scare me. Like, honestly, they just scare the crap out of me. Um, and I'll happily admit that. Like, I'm not a tough cookie when it comes to, you know, scary things and zombies. Like, I remember when I played... Um, oh, I think it was Call of Duty that I played and there were, like, Nazi zombies running at me and I just oh, I just couldn't deal with it. I really couldn't. Um, I think I played, like, one round of it and then I said to Matt, yeah, I can't do this anymore. I need to, I need to quit. <laughs> I much prefer chilled games. Um, but this game to play with your friends is honestly so fun. So we may come back to this one. So I'm just going to log now because I want to show you guys some more games. So another game that I would recommend is a game called Rust. Sadly, I can't stream it at the same time as doing the video as it takes a lot of them from the PC, but I would give it 4.5 out of 5. Again, I just it's just such a fun game to play with your friends. Um, I remember I first saw the game when I saw Valky Ray playing it with Saikuno and Toast and Corpse and everyone, um, and I just desperately wanted to play it. Um, I think it's about 30 quid um so yeah definitely go check it out i pumped a lot of hours to it on into it on the first day i think i played 10 hours it was a long day but i had so much fun like it's a great game definitely check it out mm -hmm.